31, let's take a look at how we will add and subtract complex numbers. So if we have two complex numbers, a plus bi and c plus di, and we want to add them, the mechanics of this are that we are going to add the real parts together and we're going to add the imaginary parts together. So we're going to add like terms. So if I've got a and c as the real parts of my two complex numbers, I'm going to add those together. Those will be like terms. And if I have bi plus di, I'm going to add b plus d, and that will be the coefficient on my i term. And the same is going to be true if you're subtracting complex numbers. So here I have a plus bi minus, and again, in parentheses, be careful with that, c plus di. I need to remember to distribute the negative to the c as well as the di, but ultimately we subtract the real parts and we subtract b minus d and that's the coefficient in front of i. And you've, you've seen this before with radicals or with any like terms. You may just not recognize it as much in this form because it looks a little funkier. But let's say I had something like two plus three x plus five minus seven x. Right, if I had those two binomials in parentheses, much in the same way we did here, we would do two plus five, those are real terms, or I should say those are constants, so we would add those and get seven, and then three x minus seven x, those are like terms, and I would get negative four x. The same is true here. And we've also seen this with radicals before, and I mention radicals because i is a radical. It is the square root of negative one. So let me give you another for instance. Let me erase this. So your other for instance here, what if I had, I don't know, four plus two i, oops, that's i, that's what we're doing here. Let's say I had four plus two square root three and I wanted to add to it five plus seven square root threes. And I can put these in parentheses if I want and pretend these are binomials, but ultimately I'm gonna add the constants because those are like terms and get nine. And then if you have two root threes plus an additional seven root threes, I actually wind up with nine again, but nine root threes. So we're adding like terms. Same idea here with complex numbers because again, i is the square root of a negative number. So if I look at these two complex numbers and the directions are to find the sum or difference, all right, let's add these two complex numbers. I'm gonna remove the parentheses from these binomials. So I have four minus five i, ultimately here minus five plus eight i. And as I look at it, I have a constant and a constant, right? I have my real part. So four minus five is equal to negative one. I have negative five i and positive eight i. Well, negative five plus eight is three. So I ultimately have three i's left over. So again, I'm adding the real parts and the imaginary parts. I'm combining those because they're like terms. So if we look at b, I'm subtracting these complex numbers. And all we have to do, we just have to be careful to distribute that five, excuse me, that negative to both the five and the negative three, because really you have a negative one out here and you're multiplying that, you're distributing that to your binomial. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna remove the parentheses, so I'm looking at negative 10 plus seven i, this will be minus five, but negative one times negative three i is positive three i. And then we're back to our, our basic add the real parts and add the imaginary parts. So I see negative, ten, negative 10, excuse me, and negative five, so we got negative 15. I see seven i plus three i, so I'm looking at plus 10 i. All right, so that's how we add and subtract complex numbers. We're gonna do the next example where we're gonna start multiplying and dividing complex numbers. I'll see you in a bit, bye.